What is up everyone and welcome back to more Sword Art Online 2. I am here today with episode 11. Now we are still very much being pursued by Death Gun. We found ourselves in this desert like area but we're not too concerned because we'll be able to hear the crunching of the sand. Even if he is invisible we should be able to see the footprints. Now the last episode, we finally got everything out in the open between Kirito and Sinon. It was a very touching moment. Now I just feel like I want them to be a couple. I don't know why, but I do. Like after everything that Asuna and Kirito went through, I'm just like, but Sinon! I don't know, there's just something so pure about her. I just think she's great. Also, thank you so much for all your comments about the game, what's it called, Fatal Bullet. You guys have told me that it does have quite a few spoilers and that there's maybe some other games to play even before that one. So thank you so much for all of that. Um, it's just another game that'll sit on my shelf until I'm ready to play it. And maybe I'll get the ones previous to that first. But I definitely, after this big game rush in the next couple of months, I really want to play some anime style games on my channel so definitely look out for that and recommendations on where to start in regards to Naruto and Sword Art very much appreciated. Don't forget if you are enjoying all the reactions on my channel to hit that subscribe button and if you wish to watch them unedited you can watch them over on Patreon and for everything else reaction wise like Naruto and Demon Slayer check out my website suzilu.co.uk. Okay let's do this. Death Gun was in Laughing Coffin, and you guys fought before. I need to know something. It's about the people you killed. How did you get over what you did? How are you not affected by it? How are you so strong you're not controlled by it? But he is still controlled by it. Last night, I kept having nightmares about the three guys I killed. I hardly slept at all. I saw their faces right before they vanished. I heard their voices. Their words. I don't think I'm ever gonna forget them. What am I supposed to do? I... I can't... It's okay. I think that's probably how it should be. I get it now. There are things I shouldn't forget. What it means to kill. The significance of taking life. But I also believe that he has to think about the fact that it wasn't his fault. Like, he was put in that position. He never wanted to be a killer. And I think that's really important as well. And maybe that's something that Sinon can think about in the future. That she was young and she was put in that position. She never wanted to kill someone. You know what though? See if Sinon and Kirito don't get that 1v1 battle. I'm gonna be super disappointed. Uh oh. Death gun. Hmm? It's hard to believe that under that cloak there's a real life person who just wants to kill. Maybe his reason for being here is because he likes to PK. Maybe he misses the rush of doing it from SAO. You think? Nah, there's more to it than that. He killed Zexied and Tarako in front of a bunch of witnesses. It was the same with Pale Rider. He always picks times when he's got the biggest audience. And that sign of the cross he makes? I bet he does it to freak out as many people as possible. The authorities said that Zexied and Tarako died of heart failure. Wait, so what does this mean exactly? But the thought of firing a gun in the virtual world and stopping a player's heart? There's no way that's possible. He had his handgun out for you, but he switched to the rifle for me. But he kills with the handgun. He could have killed me with it, so why'd he switch? He didn't shoot me with it because he couldn't shoot me with it? The handgun. Can't use it though. The switch. The crossing himself thing. Invisibility cloak. Conditions. Rules. In-game guns can't kill IRL. Okay, so... The only way to make it look like he's killing people in-game is by setting up for the murder in the real world first. He'd have to get a player's real-life information to do it. All that stuff's secure, though. But is it? The terminals. At the governor's office. You have to plug your real name and address into him to compete. It's an open space. You don't have any privacy there. That can't be it, because you'd notice someone lurking next to you. 
Yeah, but there's nothing to say that from a distance, he's not peeking. Maybe Death Gun can, like, use his cloak to turn invisible in town, too. <gasps> oh, and then that's how he's peeking. He can't do anything in the real world. When he's logged in here, he's unconscious there. So someone else is in on it, too. It's not just him. Yes. Death Gun has a partner. Check it out. One of them plays as the Death Gun avatar. His job is to shoot the target. At the same time in the real world, the second person's in the target's apartment. His job is to take the player out. But okay, so then how is he doing it in the real world? What is he doing? As far as Zexied and Tarako go, they lived alone. And their apartments were in older buildings. The E-locks on their doors were probably first gen, not very secure. Besides, they were both diving in GGO during the break-in. So they were both unconscious and completely helpless. You said the cause of death for both was heart failure, right? So how'd they stop someone's heart in a way both the cops and the coroner couldn't figure out? Maybe by injecting some kind of drug or something? I mean, this is really far-fetched, Kirito. I don't know, it seems a bit OTT. They're crazy! Right? I mean, why else would anyone do this? Maybe. Or... Maybe they do it because red players are who they really are. Do you think the guy doing the killing's a red player too? You know, like Death Gun? Yeah, they were probably in Laughing Coffin together. So now there's two Death Guns! What? How are they so precise about it? They've obviously got a schedule? I don't know. It's also a great opportunity to sneak a peek at his watch. Oh my god, so it is. There's two. Do you live alone? Um... Yeah. Oh god. But I'm sure I locked my door. My building's got first gen locks, but I've also got a chain. I think I left the chain off tonight. And she can't even log out right now. Oh my god. And that's why he took so long to Oh, I think he's right. Then it's seen on. I got a feeling that right now in the real world Death Gun's partner's in your place. Ah! He's watching the live stream, waiting for when you get shot by that gun. Are you sure you should be telling her this? This is terrifying! Can you imagine knowing that there's someone probably standing over you in the real world and you can't log out? Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, my God. Oh, my freaking God. This is beyond creepy. <gasps> And it is an injection, so it gives her heart failure. Oh, shit. No! No. No. No, not that. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No, no, no! Calm down. If you log out now, you'll be in danger. Just calm down. Go easy. But he just injected her, guys. I'm scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh my god. Took you long enough. Sorry guys. I booked it over here as fast as I could from my save point. Well, if there were a speed limit in ALO, my license would have gotten suspended. Oh shoot. Okay, so it's the guy that Kirito spoke to in the first episode. To tell the truth, I'm not 100% sure where to begin. Oh, don't even. <laughs> To worry, I know just where to start. On November 9th, in Gungale Online, a player called Death Gun fired his weapon at an avatar appearing on a monitor. That same day in Nakano Ward, the player of that avatar mysteriously died. That was unbelievable. Gathering all that information and connecting it so quickly, you must be quite the researcher. Shut your mouth! Yo, Chris Hyder, whatever. I hear you're the one that hired Kirito to dive into that game. So let me get this straight. You got him to convert over knowing a player got shot in-game and died IRL because of it? No matter what happens to you in-game, it can't hurt you. And it certainly can't stop a player's heart when it's not even directly connected to it. As a matter of fact, Kirito and I met last week to talk about it and pretty much agreed it was impossible. Yeah, but we've just figured out exactly what's gonna happen in Xenon! We figured it out. Death Gun is an SAO survivor just like us. But unlike us, he was a red player who was in a guild of killers called Laughing Coffin. 
Klein and I met him once, when our group went to capture his. But all we know is you work for the government doing something with networks, and that you play ALO as part of some kind of research you're doing on VR MMOs. Only for the past year, the job I had before was a little... different. You're obviously well-connected, and with a little digging, you could find out what the real-life name and address of this death gun is. Just make a list of the handles of all the surviving Laughing Coffin members, then contact their ISPs, ask which one's playing GGO now, and trace their location. No, sorry, that's not possible. What? How is that not possible? Oh, he's risking his life in that game, trying to find out who this person is. When he came home last night, he had this look on his face, like he'd seen a ghost. He must have bumped into the guy yesterday during the prelims. I bet that's when he realized someone from Laughing Coffin was in GGO. Darn it, Kirito. You should have said something. Why? Why do you always do this? That damn idiot! Why didn't he say anything? I could be backing him up right now. All he had to do was ask and I would have converted over too! We all would have. Don't you see? That's why he didn't tell us. It doesn't make it feel any better though, considering, like, he could die. That's not him I'm worried about right now, it's Sinon! I know you know, so you better tell me now. Uh, that's... confidential. Shut up! Confidential! Security's rock solid and the monitoring's top of the line. I've got a trained professional right by his side at all times, and I guarantee that his body's in no danger whatsoever Where of... is he? A hospital. It's in Ochanomizu, in Chiyoda Ward. He's in Chiyoda? Wait, is that the same hospital he was entering his rehabilitation? Yes, that's the one. I'm going over there. I want to see him, and you can't do a thing about it. Okay, but how much do we actually trust the nurse, and how much do we actually trust the government, and is this all a big conspiracy, and oh my god, okay. I'm going to take out Death Gun. Once we do, his real-world partner will stand down. Then he'll just leave your apartment. You don't know that! You don't know that! I can't hide in this cave forever, you know? By now, the other players probably figured out the two of us are in here. We might as well be sitting ducks. There's still the risk he shoots you with that gun. Oh, that thing? It's just an old school single action sidearm. He can fire it all he wants. But I got you there. Just deflect the bullets with your sword. <laughs> no pressure, Kirito. Oh my gosh. I mean, Death Gun's dangerous and you shouldn't get too close to him. I feel like Death Gun already knows that we're in here and he's just hanging out there waiting for us to leave. Here's the plan. On the next scan, I'm gonna step outside so it picks me up. That way we'll get Death Gun to come to us. He'll probably keep his distance and take cover. Then he'll try to pick me off with his rifle. When he shoots, we'll know where he is and then you take him out. I like this plan a lot. His rifle's got a silencer and you won't see the bullet line on the first shot. Oh, I'll just predict the prediction. You know, like a certain no good faker told. Um, uh, I think we should stop talking. Uh. Oh, no crap, we should have been paying more attention. What is it? And will it kill us? It's a live stream camera. <gasps> ah! <laughs> and this looks really bad! For it to pick us up, we'd have to be shouting at the top of our lungs. Wave to the audience. Unless you got someone back at home you don't want seeing this. Yeah, there's plenty of girls back home that don't want to see this. I don't care. They can think what they want. The guys in this game are dorks. If they think I'm gay, <laughs> at least they'll stop hitting on me every five seconds. <laughs> You've been faking it like a champ since you logged in. Another hour or two won't matter. Uh. But who saw that? And is Asuma going to be raging? I was just thinking about Death Gun's real handle here. The only name you didn't recognize who's still alive is Sturbin. Oh, huh. I guess that's him then. I wonder why he gave himself that name though. If I get up close and personal, I'll be sure to ask him for you. <laughs> here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the next episode already. Okay? The plan is going into action. Damn. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we definitely saw Sinon 
get injected. So I don't know if that means that it's already too late and we're just waiting for her to be shot in the game so that it looks, you know, like something has happened. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I thought she was out of the woods and and now it's turned out that she's definitely not out of the woods and things are going horribly wrong. All right, thank you so much for watching this with me and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye.